Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Hi, can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, please give me some response. All right, thanks, thanks. Um, while we are still waiting for others to come in, I just want to encourage all of you to uh, share the link. We have already live streamed to Facebook. You can share with your friends so that they are aware that we are having this um, MIE Hope Program 3 p.m. sessions. So today um, is actually uh, the Dragon Boat Festival. So I'm not sure any one of you here managed to get your uh, sticky rice, the Chinese sticky rice at home to get one to enjoy. If you get one already, maybe you just respond in a chat group, say thumbs up, you got yours. And although we cannot uh, go out uh, to celebrate with our friends and family, but uh, we sincerely just hope everyone of us here stays safe at home. And wishing all of you happy Dragon Boat Festival. What is Dragon Festival about? Huh? Dragon Boat Festival, if you Google it, is um, every year this season we have this, uh, they have competition, Dragon Boat competition, and then Ch for Chinese, right? We will eat this uh, very delicious sticky rice. Comes mm -hmm. with, uh, what is it called? Pumpkin and also mm -hmm. egg yolk inside. Yeah. Just <laughs> another excuse to go in Makana. <laughs> <laughs> In Chisoma, actually, there is a history behind. I'm sure there is. I'm sure if, there is. if you want to know the history or not, I can share with you a bit. No, it's okay. We'll do another day. We'll do another day. Just wanted to, just wanted to start a conversation before we go on. Uh, can, can I have your name card, please? I don't have a name card. I'll, I'll post my number afterwards. You can communicate with me. Don't need cards these days. Like, just number enough already. Then what's up? That WhatsApp is our face and card. Okay. Uh, Simon Wei, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, uh, glad that you're with us. Thank you know, you, the, all the, all the uh, MIA members are concerned. Uh, now you already merged with the uh, iProperty. Uh, uh, prices are all going to go up. Uh, Everybody is going to die low. So maybe you can just alleviate their fear. Uh, because they all think that by the merger means that finish off, you know, only one single entity now. So no problem. I will try to alleviate some some. Yeah, yeah. I know you can't do all a little bit, lah. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> While you're waiting for the rest, Belinda, allow me to just add on a few things. Uh, uh, the, you know, 14th uh, uh, MCO 3.0 ended, now it's 3.0 bracket one. <laughs> uh, so we are going into the second phase of MCO. So we planned up to 14, all our programs. Uh, then now it's gone to 28. So we've been cracking our head now what to do from now till 28. So... Uh, after today, we will end this um, a session on how to market property from home. That was the theme. We are going to move on to another theme, which will be entitled um, um, 
how real estate agency issues, okay, being relevant, united, relevant, and progressive in what we are doing as far as the profession is concerned. So that is going to be the theme until the end of the month. So we are now uh, arranging for speakers, uh, not only presenting, we also want to have a lot more dialogue, meaning inviting people to have a chat, one person, two person. So, uh, Shuman, you need to go and tell, uh, uh, tell um, Sheldon that there is one schedule for him uh, to come in and you're going to ask him a lot of questions. What's going to be the cost? What's going to happen? How is it going to affect all of us? So we'll fix a date for that. So very interesting subjects. We are, we are uh, thinking very carefully what we need to do and then so that it will be of, interesting, of interest to all of you. Uh, you know, there's so many things happening in the market now. Every other agency has gone into this. Every other guys are uh, individually organizing their own Zoom. So we need to do uh, topics that would be of a lot more juicy and a lot more exciting than just technology and just uh, about sales. So controversial topics, uh, things like that. So. Uh, three people sitting and debating. So uh, that's going to be an exciting program. We will run with the Marek videos and also some of the old, older videos which you find relevant uh, in the morning 10, but at three will be all those things. So, so all things happen. Okay, Belinda, 59 people. Thanks, Soma. So does it mean that today's session is our last session for the market series uh? out yes 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 tomorrow wow, okay. uh, from tomorrow it will be different theme same same thing but different theme so we all hope right. that everybody can follow us uh? all right okay it's already three or five right now Wiley is there any participants coming in there should be but I think they are still um trying to find their way here then maybe mm -hmm. we can start yeah Okay, so um, without further ado, I would like to introduce you our special guest today, uh, Mr. Siu Manwe. So he is the director of Sales for Property Guru Group. Hi, Manwe. Hi, Belinda. Thanks, thanks, Hi. For Wiling and Belinda for having me. Uh, I uh, I've heard that you are working from home since last year. Yes, uh, have been here since uh, March 18, 2020. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe before you start, just uh, share with us a little bit. Uh, what do you do for Property Guru so that we have a little bit of understanding uh, of your background? Sure. So, uh, yeah, thanks uh, to MIA for having me today. So, my name is Man Wei. I'm Director of Sales for Property Guru Malaysia. I've been uh, with PG since 2015, six years ago. So yeah, just after Sheldon. So um, what, what do I do in PG? Uh, well, basically we, we grew a team, right? From the start in 2015, we had just a team of like three salespeople. And then now there's about 30 salespeople. So, you know, we had to, we had to grow the team uh, with regards to face-to-face -to -face sales, um, tele-sales, customer service, right? And now each one of the teams are um, very large in size. So for example, like customer service is now uh, part under um, a different team. And we are just focusing for my side for business development. We focus on face-to-face -face sales and tele-sales, right? So what we do day-to-day -day, um, for the team, we do acquisition and renewals, right? So some of my team are on the call as well. Um, we sign up new customers. And we also ensure that the existing customers continue to be happy with, with Property Guru, right? Um, what else would be, um, I work closely with uh, marketing teams. So all the promos that you guys see is actually a collection based on the feedbacks provided by the agents. You know, agents say that, oh, I want a special uh, price for this. I want a special thing for that. We, we take in all the uh, feedback that you guys provide to, to, to the team, right? And, and, we consolidate it and we come up with plans uh, for the whole year. Um, yeah. So uh, that, that's the brief introduction. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, 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 Manuwe. I think uh, everyone, all, all of us here, we know that Property Guru is the uh, Malaysia's largest property website. 
that we can turn to. So um, behind the scenes are a lot of, um, you know, IT work, marketing team. So we are so privileged to have Manway to share with us today how to market your properties virtually, right? So if you guys have any question on the way, feel free to just type your question in a chat box. And after the presentation, we will just address to your question um, if the time allows, right? So without further ado, let us just uh, welcome Manway for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you so Over much. Over to you. Sure. So today we'll talk a bit about how to market your properties virtually. If you can't see me, uh, can't hear me well, uh, just let us know. Let me know as well because I can't read the, the chat. All right, so I'll be sharing the screen, uh, the slides that we have, and uh, to manage everyone's expectations. So today we will run through some of the options in terms of what a new agent can do with in order to gain more exposure for their listings. Right. I'm not going to talk just use property guru, no. We're going to talk in a, in a online marketing holistic manner, right? And, and the thing is, we noticed that many, for many agents, they feel uh, that this industry is very intimidating, right? Uh, it's, it's stressful for new joiners. And we want to alleviate some of that stress, right? Because when you feel stressed, normally it's not because... Uh, you, you cannot get the results, but it's also because you think that your options are very, very limited. Right? So what we want to do is we want to show everyone that there is a lot more options out there that you can try. Right? So first, a brief introduction. Okay, so this will be Property Guru Group, as you all know. Um, we are currently Southeast Asia's uh, largest leading prop tech company, and we are based in five different countries, right? So there are more than uh, almost 3 million uh, property listings on our sites, and we take pride in empowering over 24, almost 25 million uh, property seekers every month to help them find their dream home. Right? So this company started off in 2007 in Singapore. And since then, we have grown to become the number one uh, portal across all our core markets, the five core markets, right? So it started as a basic uh, listing platform and slowly trans transformed into a, a, a media uh, hub for high growth uh, tech companies, right? Where we provide insights, we provide solutions to our 5,000 agents and our near 6 million mobile app downloads. Uh, right? So, so far it has been very um, rewarding journey for, for us at Property Guru. And on the technology front, right, our team continues to add value to our agent partners. Right? We provide them with um, reports. These reports, these insights are constantly being updated with the latest uh, technology. We provide agent net features, uh, features on our browser, on our app. We also provide training mentorship programs through Property Guru and me. Okay. So in my next slide, I will talk about the elephant in the room first, and that would be the recent acquisition of Property Malaysia. I'm sure many of you have uh, questions regarding this, um, and uh, please please understand that um, you know it's an ongoing process. So I will do my best to to take you guys through, but I won't be able to answer every single question. All right. So. Um, as of last week, we have managed to acquire iProperty uh, in Malaysia uh, and welcome REA Group as a shareholder into the Property Guru Group. So this enables both companies, Property Guru Malaysia and also iProperty Malaysia, to combine resources, right, accelerate innovation, provide enhanced digital solutions to home seekers, property agents, and developers. Right? Just imagine it as like sort of a call. Okay? And it will allow us as part of the group to share the best solutions and insights and bring better transparency across the Malaysian property market. Okay, The goal for both platforms, for most of us, is of course to simplify the home buying journey for Malaysians. Right? We want the home buying journey, property seeking journey to be as painless as possible. And we are able now to leverage on the large customer base in our group Right, which will then facilitate greater innovation for all the agents and all the developers in this uh, Southeast Asia's property ecosystem. Okay. We are also here to accelerate uh, Property Guru's ambition of becoming the trusted platform 
for uh, ease and property seekers in this uh, market in our region. Now, um, one thing that everyone wants to know is you will continue to have the same access that you currently have to all your services and the support. Everything we can say that it's business as usual. So there's no changes in terms of that. And in the near future, um, probably sometime in July, we will be sharing more information as well. Right? So stay tuned for that. But uh, until then, don't worry. Everything is, is, is going to be very, very good for the customers, for our agents, right? And you can all continue using your, your softwares, your services uh, without, without any worries. Okay? So next, we're going to talk about how to market properties virtually. It's going to be divided into two portions. There will be online tools and resources, and there will be opportunities for agent partners, right? So with regards to um, the online tools and resources portion, now some of you, the more advanced agents you guys have, are very well versed in this. You have heard of this before, right? but as I said at the start, um, this industry can be very intimidating for a, a newcomer. And therefore, we, are, we have the goal of providing you with some additional options uh, where you can see why are the, the senior, more experienced agents getting a lot more um, engagement, a lot more views, uh, reaches compared to the new joiners. Okay. All right. So under online tools and resources, we will be covering understanding SEO and SEM keyword research tools, and also Google Trends, right? So first, what is SEO? SEO is short for search engine optimization, okay? SEO is the part of search marketing that uses organic tactics to gain visibility in a search result page, simply put in your Google search result page, right? So this is driven organically and it's not paid traffic. Okay, that's what we use SEO for. So with SEO, brands don't have to pay for placement to rank in the uh, Google page. So when you search for something on Google, for example, you can see the top few. A lot of it has the word ad next to it. So those are paid uh, content, right? SEO enables the audience to reach you without you having to go through paid content, okay? So instead, they use a variety of tactics, prompts, uh, that prompt the search engine to show the content near the top of the page because um, the result is very valuable and authoritative, right? Especially if you can rank within the first two pages of Google. Okay, so as you can see on my slide, the grayed out uh, one would be ad word is there. Below that, in the red color bracket, that is organic uh, appearance on Google's page. Okay. Just to let everyone know, because uh, this is the uh, property listing industry, right? It, it is um, misleading locations, duplicated listings, uh, hiding your names uh, of, of a particular project. All of this does not help you uh, with regards to SEO. Um, putting 10 of the same keywords onto a single post does not help you with, with your SEO. Right? In fact, it might be flagged as a, as a spam eventually. Okay? So this is why it's important to know uh, how to optimize your, your listing, um, your personal domains and stuff, instead of just uh, pumping into uh, social media and other stuff like personal domains. Right? So in social media, your post can easily be drowned beneath millions of other uh, posts that is online. And there is almost no way for an SEO to just pick up one out of a million posts and show it on Google's top page. It is very, very wishful thinking, right? Now, next, we're going to touch on SEM. So SEM is the, the top part of this where it's written as an ad, okay? So in SEM, this is the process of using paid advertising to get your site higher in the search rankings. Right? By paying a certain fixed price, you get a certain slot. If a certain person clicks, uh, types in a particular name or word, you will appear there. Okay? And this is a paid strategy, which includes both um, activities involved with setting up, optimizing ads. Um, you are advised to, to set aside a budget uh, each week or each month 
with regards to the placement of ads, the volume of ads, right? and who is your target that you want to reach. So to put it very simply, the difference between SEO and SEM is like this. Right? In terms of search results, SEM includes the ad designation. It has extensions in order to draw traffic. SEO appears as organic search results. Right? SEM, there is a cost incurred on you each time a user clicks. And with uh, an optimized uh, search, you pay nothing. Right? Visibility for ads, it will only be shown to a targeted audience. I think we all know that. Um, if you're not targeted, you won't, won't see that particular ad, right? In SEO, it can be shown to a larger group, larger base of people, okay? Results in SEM are like a, a caffeine heat. It's very immediate. You pay a certain amount of money, you see the reach come back in thousands. You feel good sometimes. Right? In terms of SEO, it takes a bit of time. SEM is good for testing. For example, you want to know if you want to launch a new campaign, or a new promotion, will it have traction in the market? SEM is good to test for a short period of time. SEO, as you know, is organic, right? Value over time is definitely better with SEO. And the click-through rate for SEOs have always been higher than ads on the, the search engine result page, okay? So in short, SEO is, is uh, having a very optimized uh, link, article, listing, uh, personal domain, website, whatever it is, is something that everyone wants to have. But SEM is what most people end up doing, especially on social media. And the main difference is because SEO takes time. It takes content and you, re you are required to build trust with your customers. For example, if you have a website and you start posting articles about a certain property, right? If you stop posting all of a sudden, okay, you're not then able to build trust with your customers because customers go to the website expecting to see the next new property right up and it's not there and you stop for one month and then you come back again and write. Right? So this is not the way to build trust with your customers, okay? We're also going to talk about what other tools that can help you appear better uh, on the search result page. So first, we're going to talk about keywords, okay? Keyword research. So put simply, keywords, key phrases, these are what property seekers type into the search engines. Okay, they type into Google, into whatever search. As a business, this is very important because you want to come up in search engines where people search for the keywords or the phrases that are relevant to your product or service, right? You want them to be able to see you. And what are the top keywords based on our, our, uh, our insights and the data we have on our platform? So you guys can take a picture. These 30 keywords are currently the top right, of what people search for. Um, and this is directly from our internal database. Okay? So this means that if your listing contains um, some of these or these keywords, your listing stands a slightly higher chance of being viewed by property seekers because not because it makes the listing better. No, it's because more people are looking for this particular keyword. You must understand it's not because you put a, a particular word inside there and then your listing becomes better. No, right? It's because there's more people looking for things in this particular area. They search in this particular manner. And therefore, if yours is in line with, uh, with this, you have a higher chance of getting more traffic, right? So where else can you find uh, keywords that work uh, for, for your listings or for your optimization of your search engine? One of them is KW Finder, right? KW Finder is an easy to use keyword research tool that helps you find keywords that you can easily rank, okay? So what you see, you can also see in terms of your competition, how does the competition rank on this website? Okay, KW Finder provides a 10 day free trial. You guys can go and try it out. A lot of our agents use it as well. Besides KW Finder, um, this is what the KW Finder dashboard looks like. Okay, it shows you that you're able to check and search the volume of the, this particular keyword. How many people are using this keyword? Right. It shows the ranking and keyword difficulty scale for the keywords that you insert. 
you can export the data, you can view the ranking on Google. Okay, so this is one of the platforms called KW Finder. Another Sorry, my way. Sorry, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, our participant mentioned that you are speaking very soft. Um, might need you to speak louder and, and clear. Yeah, it's a bit cut off from our side. I understand. Okay, I'll speak. I'll speak a bit louder. Hopefully, it's better. Let me know if you if you guys face. So Maybe you can adjust your speaker volume. Try to adjust your speaker volume. Mm, I think it's maximum. Really. Hang on. Yeah. Let me try. Let me try to plug in. Hold on. Can you hear me? Is this better? Yeah, it's good at my side. It's good at your side. Huh? Okay. Yeah. okay. Thanks a lot for letting me know. If you guys can't hear, just, just let us know. Yeah? Okay, if if you missed any part that you're not sure of, you can ask questions as well after this. Don't worry. Right? Okay, key search. Key search is another one, uh, another platform that helps you find relevant, low competition keywords for your website, your blog, your business, whatever it is. And they come with a one month free trial available. Right? So KW Finder has 10 days. This one has a one month free trial. So this is the dashboard for key search. We have done the, the comparison for you so that you don't have to, you can just pick whichever one you think is more relevant. Right? This one also provides competition analysis, provides difficulties score as well, and also ranks tracking. Right? And uh, last but not least would be Google Keyword Planner, right? This is a free Google Ads tool provided to people who use Google Ads, but right? you can use Keyword Planner to search for keywords, see how they perform, okay? And you can even view the dashboard, right? The dashboard will show you on Google what is the volume used for your particular keyword, what is the cost if you are using Google Ads for your SEM? What is the cost per click? Um, real time, it could be estimation, depending whether you have already gone live with the ad or not. Right? And this is the Google Trends dashboard page. Right? So Google Trends dashboard will also show you the keywords to compare. Okay, It will show you the location, the duration, uh, of the particular keyword, be it in terms of your property or in terms of the viewer, the viewer themselves, where are they from? Right? It shows you trend data, and also you can download and share this information. Right? So these slides that we just gone through and the options that we've just gone through, it's very simple. But for the newcomers, right, this is where you are able to find, um, hopefully more tools that will enable people to find you easier, right? Hopefully it will help to improve the reach, the volume of uh, clicks and the, the leads that you get from, from your listings when you step into this industry, okay? Next, we are also going to talk about opportunities for our agent partners, right? So this is, uh, stuff that you will get if you are part of the uh, Property Guru ecosystem when you have one of the subscription packages with us, right? So this shows you how you can leverage your uh, our platform to optimize your listings. So first, before you even know um, how to optimize your listing, first you have to know where uh, and when people start to look for listings, right? This is very important because you cannot sell a uh, it is better for you to sell something during a hot period, right? For example, if you sell um, in a Ramadan bazaar, it's better for you to sell before people book up puasa rather than after people book up puasa, right? The volume of sales for your food will be better during the correct time, okay? So for example, Many people think that uh, the highest volume in terms of traffic comes on the weekends of Fridays. But actually, no. Right? Most of them actually come on Monday. Monday has the highest, and the rest of the week are more or less the same. 
Um, it could be because people are having Monday blues, right? Therefore, they, they cheer themselves up by looking for their dream property and remind themselves, you know, that this is what they're working towards, what they're working for, right? So the traffic on Monday has always steadily been the highest. During MCO, before MCO, last year, this year, this has been the number. Now, in terms of when, what time, the time shows that 2 to 4 p.m., and 7 to 10 p.m. has the highest volume of search, right? This would be summarized as just after lunch and just after dinner, I would say, right? So I think after people go, uh, had their lunch or dinner, when they sit down, they start to search for, for properties during their free time, right? So this is, uh, this is a very important gauge in terms of the day and in terms of the time, right? That the volume of traffic is there on our site. Next, I'll uh, share with you guys a little bit about FastKey, right? So for agents handling outstation projects, for agents looking to expand in the region to another state, for example, or even East Malaysia, FastKey projects are your best bet, right? FastKey provides direct access to developers, uh, offers, promos, commissions. As long as a developer uses this package, they can then assign it to you, the account, and then it will show you what offers, promos they currently have. And the goal is to ensure that everyone is getting the same offer. You don't want uh, to be selling at a slightly higher price and then the next team is selling at a lower price, correct? You want to be on the same footing. So this is where FastKey comes in, right? It also provides a comprehensive suite of project information. For example, you can see uh, the available units exactly. Is it taken? Is it still available? Has there been booking fee paid, right? And there's a lot more opportunities uh, if you want to reach outside of uh, Malaysia as well, right? So you can visit our FastKey website for, for more information. Now, with the increase uh, in the frequency of lockdown and also the number of cases, COVID cases in the country, we have also just introduced live tour, right? It's a new feature uh, that you can click on the internet when you list a new listing. Now, um, when it comes to property viewing, the ideal world scenario, of course, is that you view it with your agent face-to-face -face on the actual site, the actual property site, right? But with lockdown going on, we know that this can't always happen, right? And therefore, Live Tour is a feature available to all agents that allows the property seekers, okay, which means the potential buyer, to request a video call with the agent. So the agent will go to the site, right? Social distancing is maintained because there's only one person in the empty unit. They take out their phone or the laptop or the iPad and they take you through the entire house, right? So what you are able to do is to set an appointment with them for the properties that have this enabled. So we understand that some agents might be out of range, more than 10 km, more than 15 km uh, compared to the properties that they sell. So certain properties they cannot go to, right? But most that they can, they will put it available as live tour enabled, okay? So this initiative is to help customers from home continue to discover projects and homes and properties of interest to them, right? Um, and, and live tour, being able to see this straight from your, your phone or iPad or, or laptop, um, we believe it's better than using a collage. We noticed that many agents uh, try to use collages where they take like nine different pictures and put onto one picture, right? Uh, in order to show a bit more of the house, um, we do not recommend collages because you can imagine, right? On the laptop, it might look quite big, but by the time that collage becomes a thumbnail on a phone screen, right? It becomes very, 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 very small. Right? And therefore it's not, not recommended at all for, for customers to, to view that tiny collage. Okay. We also have recently enhanced our listing performance and insights. Right? This is a feature on AsiaNet that is constantly being updated and upgraded. Right? So what is listing performance insights? It is part of our Partner 360 initiative, which is something we use to reward our existing customers for staying with us. Right? Asian partners can now experience uh, enhancements on AsiaNet. For those who are not familiar, 
listing performance insights is a report of your listings performance. You can view your listings uh, in terms of impressions, now by impressions, views, uh, for the last seven to 30 days. Okay. And it also gives you a breakdown of, sorry, can someone go on mute? I think someone is not muted. And it also gives you a breakdown of leads, shows you how property seekers are engaging with your listings. It provides you certain guidelines and tips in order to get uh, know how to optimize your listings further. And it also provides insights with regards to pricing, competition summary. These are new, newly added features for you, right? And all of this is available to, to all our agents who, who use our subscription packages as well. Okay. And now, um, last but not least, as I mentioned earlier, we are constantly looking to update, upgrade, and receive feedback from all of you with regards to the tools you provide. Every single feedback that you provide to the team does reach us, does reach Sheldon, right? Does reach the product team. Just that I hope everyone understands that, you know, a, a software digital product is not something that can be programmed overnight. A lot of things we want to bring to the table for everyone, but sometimes it just takes a little bit more time for us to test it out. We have to run surveys, we have to run user acceptance, we have to make sure it's usable across the region, right? So these are links to additional resources that we have, for example, Partner360, for example, the PG Academy, uh, our help center, and also the latest news, right? And if you guys have any, any questions, any ideas, any feedback, just feel free to uh, inform the team. Let us know, right? And we will be more than happy to assist you guys. So thank you very much for giving the time. Um, I'll pass it back to Belinda for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Manwei. Um, I personally think that it's a very informative and detailed. I learned a lot of new terms. I think for um, negotiators and real estate agents, most of the time we just know uh, how to post uh, listings and market online but you know we never know that behind the scenes there are so many works to do and you have to filter and um, what enlightened me was like how you guys have a team to analyze those that data and interpret it for your for your client yeah because um, your goal is to help your client to uh, develop the, the business and have that certain amount of leads right yeah so this, this is something that we uh, as a layman uh, for this professional, we didn't, we never thought of it. Yeah, thanks for sharing us the details. Um, let me see what are the questions that, that we have. Um, yeah, we, we are so happy to have uh, Property Guru team uh, in the midst with us as well. Um, thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, okay, so we have this question from uh, Nenda. Uh, so just to help us to have an uh, understanding, uh, because you did uh, point out uh, about the merge of iProperty and Property Guru. So let's say um, previously our listings being up, uh, uploaded in iProperty, right? Will it be automatically in Property Guru as well? Um, not at the moment. At the moment, it will mm -hmm. continue to function as two separate platforms. So everything that you have been doing, you can continue to do no problem. Okay, so as what you mentioned, need time to test and so on to, to figure out. Okay, understood. Um, there's another question. Uh, this is regarding, um, on behalf of iProperty, I'm not sure whether you can answer this question or not. They're asking whether iProperty platform have live tour as well. Uh, at the moment, I cannot answer for, for them because this is something that we just recently launched. Um, so yeah, for for those who are interested, we can go take a look. But at the moment, I I have to still answer on behalf of property group first. So yeah, Understood. it's something. So this this uh live tour and virtual tour uh, is something new in property guru platform, and mostly is for new launch launching pro project. Am I right? Or it also applicable for uh sub sales properties. Yeah, so for virtual tour, virtual tour is a, a, a older feature where we go in with a camera, a 360 degree camera, and we film the whole house and you can virtually click through it on the browser, right? Now for live tour, it's different. Live tour is new. 
and it's available for new properties or old properties, as long as that unit or that house is available for the agent to go into, even during MCO, they can go in, new or used, sub-sale, and just take their phone, like I say, phone, iPad, or whatever, and just walk with the potential customer through the, through the house. Yeah. Mm, okay, understood. All right, so people can just easily access from the Property Guru website to view the tour. So uh, when an agent is putting up the listing, there is an option to enable live tour. If mm -hmm. it is enabled, then when the potential customer click on the, the link, they can then set an appointment with the agent when they want to do the live tour. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. So um, you also mentioned a lot about um, how do we uh, you know, trace the customer trends and, and so on. Maybe can you just give us that insight? Uh, for example, uh, when, when you share about the customer trend, people, uh, people view the post after lunch or after dinner. Does that mean that the best time to post or do a new post listings uh, is, is the right time during that peak season? Or what, the, what usually your team will, will assess and what are the action plans to do when you analyze those things? Okay, yeah, very good question. So a lot of people think that if the most people view in that time means I repost or I post during that time. Right? Mm -hmm. The problem with that is we have more than 10,000 agents. If 10,000 people go and click that at the same time, everybody is still going to end up on 10 different pages, correct? So the yes. goal is not to click exactly at the time, but is to know that on Monday and during uh, after lunch time and after dinner time is a good time to to make sure your listing is at least active, uh, well presented, and also available within the first few pages. Right? The best thing you can do is to post or repost just before or during that time frame. It doesn't have to be exact because we can. Uh, the good thing about um, uh, a listing platform is that the customers yes. click more than the first page. They can view up to the 10th page, right? On Google, normally people give up after the first page, at most the second page, right? unless you're really, really looking for something you click very far. But for property platforms, because it's, the platform is all properties only, so people will click through and see different agents, different pictures, different listings. And therefore, it is to your advantage if you are able to have at least better lighting setting, better camera to take a more uh, interesting picture for, for people to see. Yeah. Okay, okay. So with the um, when we take the good advantage of both SEO and SEM, that will be more effective. That is what you're trying to say. Yeah. Yes, correct. Uh, SEO will take longer time to build. It's something that lasts longer as well, better longevity. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But it takes time. So SEM is a bit more faster, and you can get hits better, especially if the property say it's in a it's currently very hot, very, uh, very popular, and that could be a better way to go about it. But don't forget that um, one of the two, like SEM, is something that is available to everyone. Um, mm. Proper search engine optimization in terms of content SEO is something that takes time and not everyone will be willing to do it. So it's good to build your brand uh, steadily from, from one by one, each of your listings. Okay, all right. Um, all right, we have this question from Marcus Lee. So what is the advantages of real estate negotiator? Uh, what are the advantages from the mergers? I'm not sure whether you, 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 you are comfortable to answer this question or not. So basically, what are the advantages of us when Property Guru and iProperty is merged? Currently, if you're talking about 14th of June, Right, I cannot say that there's any advantage yet because it's BAU. We are still going through the merger integration process. It's going to take time. But in the future, right, when two large brands uh, in a particular country come together, the main advantage is that we can learn from each other. And therefore, ultimately, the benefit lies in the customer and the consumer. Right? Because before this, for example, if platform A has something, platform B doesn't have it, or platform B has something, platform A doesn't have it. Now, behind the scenes, all the knowledge can be transferred and can be learned from each other. 
And therefore, the final beneficiary will always be the consumer and the customer. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, honestly speaking, 14th of June today, nothing yet. I cannot say anything yet because it's going to take some time. Okay, guys, rest assured, don't be panicked. You still can uh, post any listing in Ad Property or Property Guru, whichever you think that's the best for you and your client, okay? Yeah, so the merge does not affect uh, anything, any marketing platform yet. Yeah, because it's just a, a, a very new news. Yeah, we have to wait for the, uh, the team to develop further, you know, and we're still looking forward to see how, you know, Property Guru can serve us uh, in this industry. Okay, let's see the other next question. Correct. Right, we look forward to serving everyone better as well. Okay. Um, I if you guys have any questions, feel free to just uh post in the chat box. Uh, property guru team will 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 be happy to uh answer your questions. Um, maybe I'll just ask a very basic questions. Just now, go back to the SEM and SEO that you mentioned, right? Um, because these are the tools that uh, we usually don't know how to use. And a lot of time, uh, real estate negotiators are considered sort of uh, entrepreneurship that we have to know a lot of things. Like we have to negotiate, we have to learn a lot of marketing skills. We have to sometimes post in social media, like Pao Ka Leo, everything we have to know. So uh, does that, sometimes like the hashtags and so on, does that apply uh, in the SEM, or why do I, why do we want to build the brand and so on? Oh, very good. So yeah, thanks for that. So I we understand right uh, that agents in the industry are expected are required to really pau pau ka so to speak. Because if the if the owner gives you a listing, the developer gives you a listing or a new property, and you cannot go back and give them results in a timely manner they're going to think that, hey, why am I paying you? Or why am I giving you this, this thing? I might as well give to somebody else. Very, we are very aware of that. Owners, developers, they all think the same. But for us, we are for the agents and we are for the property, potential buyers. Right? This is our, our stand for the guru. So in terms of that, uh, you mentioned hashtags, for example. Hashtags is something that, it works within the particular social media platform, so to speak. Mm. So, for example, if you hashtag on Instagram, now where people want to search for that particular tag on Instagram, they will find those where people hashtag a picture or post or a reel or whatever on Instagram, right? And same goes for Facebook, same goes for your other social media. Uh, now, how does that, does that really work with regards to your SEO, SEM? Very honest truth, uh, no. Unless, now unless your personal domain, let's say, um, berlindachong.com is very, uh, has its own Facebook account, has its own Instagram account, has its own property career account, and it's all part of a very holistic ecosystem. What does that mean? That means uh, the moment you get a listing, you post a property guru, you take the time to write a simple article about it on your website. And then you take the time to post pictures about it on your Instagram and your hashtag. And then you take the time and you post pictures and post about it on your Facebook. Now, this is a holistic ecosystem, right? But this mm. will take time. And therefore, it's not really uh, something that can be done by everyone. Let's be very, very honest. It's not something that can be stomached by everyone uh, to do, especially when you have 50 listings, 100 listings, 999 listings for some people, right? So you have to pick your methods. Certain things you know, example, a property is cost more than 2 million, more than 4 million, let's say, example. Those belong to a certain group of customers and that group of customers are interested in seeing certain kinds of things compared to someone who's buying 500,000 below, let's say. And therefore, you have to tailor your targeted audience and, and your keywords and, and whatever you do with regards to that listing accordingly to who you're selling to. But you cannot list, uh, you cannot talk about the same things uh, for a five hundred thousand dollar property compared to a two million dollar property, for example, it's it's different. So this is what we mean by uh, yes, it is important, but you cannot do it for all. It's not feasible to do it for all, and therefore you have to pick your your battles correctly when you are building your brand. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. So in 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 a sense, with these kind of marketing tools and the website that uh, property, for example, property guru website, it actually help to 
uh, narrow down like the categories and so on. Um, I think this is very helpful because for negotiators like uh, like us, we find it uh, very draining if we just throw out listings and repost, repost, but it never reached to the right uh, targeted uh, or, or potential client. Yeah, it didn't reach to the right uh, group of people. Yeah, so with the with the help of uh, SEM and SEO, definitely will help. But for the domain, um, my understanding is mostly when you are creating a website, like you have to purchase a domain so yes. that you, you can you can uh navigate your own content. And, yeah, your your own content. Yeah, correct. Correct. Right. So in terms of uh, being able to to quickly reach certain audiences, um, I give you guys an example. So a lot of times when an agent lists uh, property, they will search back for their own property to try to find their listing. Like, oh, my listing is there, layout, right? They feel good. And then sometimes when they type in the keyword and they search, the, because they because they create the listing, right? They type a particular keyword instead. And then they search that time, they type a particular keyword again, five minutes to LRT or something like that. And they expect their listing to pop up. Pop up. They expect customers to search like that. Uh, actually, it's it doesn't really help you in that sense. Because the reason, like Belinda say, we have lots of categories already set. We set it based on the property type, price range, property name, area, even the area we categorize quite correctly, right? And, and if you do not search, uh, you do not put your listings correctly based on the, the categories provided, right? it is actually much harder for customer to find you. You might think that free tax will help you uh, get more views but no it doesn't actually work that way people actually search based on the name of the property therefore it's important to let people know the name of the property right the area people search by area breakdown by property type this is done a lot therefore it makes sense for you to tell honestly upfront the correct information of the particular property yeah, this is very important yeah a lot of people think that oh um i put something else and then I hope that people will find me. No, the, the structure is in place because that is where the most clicks, eyeballs, leads are. It is, yeah. Wow, thanks my way. I feel like I'm like, I'm venturing a whole new world because you gave us a deeper insight in uh, doing our marketing properly, right? Because for the past few days, we have been learning a lot of uh, marketing platform, do this and do that. I think for now, uh, our part is to, understand how to um, you know market and give correct information and the right platform and depend it also depending on the size and your targeted audience as well we can always use this uh, it's a very good time for us during this mco to test what are the tools that works best for you yeah um, yes correct different tools work, work um well for different people the the last thing i really wanted to touch on is actually mm -hmm. you building trust with the customer Right. Mm. If you type there less than 100 minutes to LRT, less than two minutes walk to, to LRT, less than 100 meters, uh, located five minutes from KLCC, you know, the usual stuff. You mm. see, when the customer then finds out the truth, yes, you got the customer to click on the listing. Fine. But once the customer finds out the truth about the property, right, like it's not there, it's not what they expect, you actually lose. Um, trust, you, you fail to build trust with the customers and therefore they might look for somebody else or another property or another company, right? So it's very, very, very important that we build the trust with the customers. You put yourself in the customer's shoe. Imagine somebody told you, now there is a Ferrari selling for $50,000 and then you go to the shop. No, it's not a Ferrari. Or it's a red colored car. Right, and it's, it's something like that, and it's something like that. It bought it from Italy, but it's not a car yet, and it's only 50,000, and it's a 25 year old car, for example. So, you will feel very, very cheated when you finally see the product, you know, and therefore you fail to build the trust with the customer. The customer is never, most likely, never going to go back again to this property, mm -hmm. this agent, or this agency, right? So, it's very, very important for us to ensure the information is correct. The customers will be there. The platforms, the developers, everyone is doing their best to sell the property. Everyone, trust me. And therefore, we will drive the necessary traffic, people who are interested in that, to your particular place. Because end of the day, let's put it very simply, if the place is really horrible and nobody likes that place, 
it's very low chance the developer will even build their property in the first place. They sure have done some form of research. They sure know that there's a certain customer base, potential market to tap in for that development. So it's whether we can tap into that development or not. Yeah. That's, that's all. It's all about building the trust with the customers. Mm. Yes. We also um, talk about the integrity as well, even though we do the marketing. Yeah, integrity matters. Um, it just shows to you like, if let's say it's a stranger come to your uh, ever, ever, advertising, marketing listings, if everything is informative, not you are not only to buying the clicks, you, are, you, you want to build your own uh, portfolio as well as uh, real estate agents or negotiators. I think that's a very good point that you pointed out. Um, we have another question from uh, Marcus Lee. So, uh, of course, you know, I think the, the question that they have been raised about the time consuming and so on, I always uh, think that marketing uh, is a uh, fundamental, fundamental things that agents will need to spend time on. Of course, we will need to uh, work on our time management. When are we going to market? There are times we need to negotiate and, and so on. When we think of this time consuming about posting the same listing over different platforms, right? So what's your take on this? So um, do you think that it's best for agents to post the same listing in whatever platform that they have, or they can actually just uh, string down to focus? Uh, what's your, do you have any insights or any advice on this? So I'm going to talk about this now. Uh, in terms of merger acquisition, no merger acquisition, the answer is going to be the same. Right? So you can sign up for any one of the platforms from as low as 500 ringgit up to 3,000 ringgit, let's say, okay? And people will say, um, do I have to choose, uh, can, I, can you help me choose one? It is not actually, now, unless you're a total uh, new joiner with budget constraint, it is actually not in your, personally, I would say that it's not in your advantage to just use one. Why not you expand your, your reach to customers and use whatever that you can afford that is available to you. So why do I say that? For example, just one platform, our platform, let's say 500, 500 ringgit lah on offer, let's say, and you sign up and you close a rental, not even a sale of a house, yeah? A rental only. Just one rental in the whole one year, you close one rental only. You already more than cover the cost of the platform. More than cover everything else you get from using this platform in that one year is already an upside, you know. And therefore, we shouldn't view it as, oh, I want to use as few as possible. Yes, it's, it is a bit time-consuming. Eventually, who knows? Maybe something might emerge that allows you to list concurrently. I am not sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Eventually, but for now, it is not, it is a disadvantage to you to just tell yourself that, uh, I'm just going to stick to um, using Facebook or using a single platform and I'm going to hope that the whole world reach, reach to my, my listing, my post. It's not your advantage. Yes, it's a bit troublesome, of course. Of course, it's a bit troublesome. But certain platforms have certain advantages. Certain platforms drive customers from a different income bracket. Let's put it this way. Right? Certain platforms have uh, projects more suited to certain income brackets. This is fact. I wouldn't say, but it is fact. And therefore, it will suit you to, let's say, if you have properties more than a million dollars to post here, maybe less than 800,000 to post here, or just post everything everywhere if you're, if you're free. Make sure the information is accurate, trustworthy. You will get the customers and the views. This is, this is what we believe in. Really, guys, yeah. it's just, just imagine you you fork out investment 1,188, let's say like you pay full price, like no discount, whatever. But then you close one, one house rental, you're more than able to cover this, uh, this package cost already. Regardless of that. Mm. Yeah, I think it's about um, the mentality as well. Because when we are talking about uh, using the marketing platform, it's like reaching out. You want to reach out as many people as possible, especially for new beginners and new in this industry. Like. And then slowly you will narrow down what type of property will suit what kind of platform. Yeah, it will be more, it will help you effective. And this really need our times to uh, filter as well. Just like in the old days, right? For, uh, they only have newspaper platform. You can choose or oh, which, which, uh, which type of property. You cannot just say, oh, I just want, want this 
uh, newspaper and then I advertise this, but I can actually advertise in different kind of newspaper. Yeah, I think it's a similar similar concept that that we have. For now, um, what do you think, my way? Do you think that uh, currently the with the evolution of technologies, I think those hard copies will be uh, being replaced uh, by by ITs um, by the technology. What do you think in the future? How does the marketing will will uh, move forward? Um, I think it's very obvious. Definitely, technology will play a very large role in the future. Mm. Like media media consumption is already now more than ninety percent digital. Uh, these people view uh, digital media a lot more. So with regards to advertising and marketing as well, it's all going to move uh, digital. Wherever the people spend their time, that's where advertising will move. And now people spend their time mostly online. Right? Simple as that you wake up, first thing you reach for your phone. Before you sleep, last thing you touch, your phone. Unless those who wear spectacle, maybe the last thing they touch is the spectacle. But the phone, usually it's the phone. right? Mm. And therefore, the, where does the, the eyeballs and the money go? It, it goes where the people go, right? Simple mm -hmm. as that. Where there's more people there in the future, definitely it will go there. Now, in terms of, you're talking even in terms of uh, the, the financial process, the documentation process of, of buying a property next time, I'm sure more and more everything is going to switch online, right? Even with our government uh, departments, you can see slowly they are switching online as well. Even with uh, registering for your COVID vaccination, everything is online. If everything like this can be done online sooner or later, that's why we have invested heavily in uh, a lot of uh, data uh, platforms, right? For example, people know that we acquired iProperty. We also acquired Bricks, right? Uh, we also acquired My Property Data recently, and all this information will be digitally provided. So your marketing, your advertising, your data, all of it will be available digitally in the future. That's for sure. Because carrying around or sifting through uh, large amounts of A4 paper is really, really yeah. not going to be a help. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, Even thanks. though I'm still aware that there are a very small group of um, uh, older generation, they still rely on hard copies and so on. Uh. But with, the, with, with us moving forward with this kind of ITs, definitely help us to fill in those gaps. Yeah, it brings a lot of conveniency and also uh, transparency as well and it brings a lot of effective effectiveness as well in this industry yes, correct. Um, yes correct. there's this question from katie chong so during fmco everybody is suffering will property guru consider lowering down the subscription fees yeah so in the previous uh mco we launched guru cares right um last year um and it helped a lot of uh, agents now for currently um we are working to see with the government as well to see you know how is things going to work out in the next few weeks uh if you're asking for right now as you all know uh there's a lot of promotions we're having going on right now for all our customers new sign up renewing purchasing on air credit just contact the account manager trust me there's a promo ready for that already we have prepared already. um and yeah we hope to be able to further help more and more uh customers with regards to, to their packages for consumers of course HOC has been extended, you know, and, and we hope that every one of us will be able to continue to stay safe and make it out of this, um, this current pandemic uh, in, in very due time, in good time. Yeah, wow. Thanks, Manwei, for, for sharing <laughs> such a wonderful word of encouragement to all of us. Yeah, um, and yeah, for, for your information, today is our last session uh, under the theme and topic for how to market during MCO, right? So, uh, MIE, hope that everyone of us here, uh, we, we, we learn a lot and with the platform and the details and the information that we have, we will really spend time to uh, practice, make it into action and plan ahead and see what uh, works the best for you. You know, with the all the success stories we have learned, right? If we, have, we apply, if let's say we have 10 ideas and then we try five out of them and then one works out of it, it's actually uh, helpful and benefit for us, right? So no harm giving a, a try, okay? These, these are the things that will add value to your, to your profession as well. And continue on moving forward, right? Just now, earlier on, before we start, Mr. Soma actually shared with us, uh, we are going to move on um, to another kind of theme and topic for real estate agency that is more relevant for your profession, okay? So with that, I think 
uh, if we don't have any other questions, uh, I think we will end here. I just want to thank you so much for Property Guru. Thank you so much, uh, my way for sharing us, um, sharing with your wonderful slides. Yeah, I want to thank uh, MIA, Mr. Soma, Belinda. Thanks to all of you, Wiling, for, for setting this up. Guys, don't forget that there's going to be many, many methods. There's going to be many, many ways for you to achieve your, your goals, your, your success in your industry. Right. And uh, there, won't, there will not be one single best method in the world uh, that, somebody, that everyone is going to use. No, you're going to find, you're going to try, you're going to succeed, fail, and you're going to find the method that suits you the most and your customer base the most. Right. This is very, very important. So just, just try. If you guys need help, reach out to us. We are all available. And yeah, thanks again for attending, guys. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yes, thanks, Manuel. Thanks everyone, you guys are not alone in this journey. Let's keep it up and encourage one another. Take care and stay safe. Take care, stay safe. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks guys.